Hey, what's up, YouTube's Blue Golfball here today with another Pokemon TCG Online video, and today I have for you guys Embor EX, the 180 HP Fire type Pokemon. Spiral Punch hits for a base damage of 20. And you flip a coin until he gets tails, then this attack does 20 more damage for each head. Strong Flare right here it hits for a base damage of 150. Discard two energies attached to this Pokemon. And of course, we all know Burning Energy exists, and so that means, um, you know, Burning Energy. You can discard two, uh, two burning energies, and then you get it right back. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, a couple things that you may want to discard and not want back is if you're playing against, you know, Lugia EX, Evil Tall EX, Mega Mewtwo Y. Maybe you don't want to have those energies simply because they will be... <laughs> They're an additional 40 damage, basically. All right. So, um, again, we slap down uh, a muscle band. You can hit for 150. Knock out, you know, some of these EXs out there that are 170 HP. It is water weak. does have a three retreat cost. And, yeah, so we are going to be playing a supporting cast of Entei. That's it. Just Entei here, three of these, and three Shamans. This is going to be kind of a speed Embor deck with uh, Entei and Embor EX. And this is one strong flare, guys. Speed and bore here. This is a, the fastest peg I've ever seen. Anyways, um, yeah. Three acro bikes here again, just to kind of speed through the deck. We have battle compressor here, just to thin out the deck as well and, you know, burn off some energies and use the uh, blacksmith to get them back into play. Equal arm right here to get, um, you know, we don't have uh, any hard charms, but uh, you can still get back other tool cards uh professor's letter search for two energy keys i don't know if we really need it since we just burned through the deck so much but you never know we have sacred ash right here to get the pokemon back since we only play a three three line of uh three embors and three entes anyways uh three trainers mail and then we have that uh, four ultra balls and four via seekers we do play AZ here for the Shaman, as well as Blacksmith. Now, Blacksmith, uh, we play, play a theory of these. Could we kind of go with four, but I think three is pretty solid. Uh, we do have Hex Maniac in case if we run into Aegislash EX, or maybe even Pyroar. Uh, we'll just use Hex Maniac. And then we have uh, Judge right here to be able to judge. <laughs> um, we do have Lysander, one of these, as well as uh, Professor Sycamore, Shauna, and Scorched Earth as a stadium of choice. Assault Vest here to uh, reduce the uh, attack damage of uh, Pokemon that are using special energies. And then Fighting Fury Belt as well as Muscle Band. Two Muscle Bands, two Fighting Fury Belts. That's going to be uh, kind of a strong uh, item, you know, um, tool card line here. Four of these Burning Energies, four of these DCEs, and of course... Uh, five, uh, you know, regular fire energies. We can recycle them using blacksmith. Now, uh, I must say, this deck relies only on basics. So, if you're, uh, you're fighting against, um, uh, what do you, what do you call it? Uh, Jolteon EX, you're basically done for. Um, you can't hurt Jolteon. Um, yeah. Otherwise, if you're playing against, uh, Regice, it's gonna be pretty tough to win, but you can use Heat Tackle and knock out the Regice. Um, since, you know, your M board here won't be able to attack the red dice, but yeah, that's going to be it for the deck analysis. Hopefully you guys got the gist of it. I mean, um, yeah, pretty straightforward. Kind of a thin line of the supporters. Only one Sycamore, one Shauna, you know, one Judge, one, one Lysander, one Hexmaniac, you know. We're really relying on Via Seeker and then also relying on Shaman as well as a lot of these item cards to kind of just burn through the deck really quickly. And so let's go ahead and see this deck in action in a tournament here on Pokemon TCG Online. All right, we're going to be playing against Joe Bot. Oh man, his name uh, threw me off. Bot Botikus. Bot Botik. Botik. Botikus. Enough. Um, <laughs> He has won the coin toss. He's going to be going first. I was not able to pay attention enough to see what kind of deck he was playing, but he's allowed us to go first. And as terrible as it is, this is awful. We end up going first. Um, we start off with a Shaman. Hmm. So we see a Vespaquin there. That's very peculiar. Hmm. All right, all right. This is good. It's good stuff, good stuff. Um, we've got an Acrobike that we can start off with. We have Sycamore, which I don't want to do. I don't want to play. Now, we could play the Sycamore if... And only if uh, we top deck like a you know an Embor EX or Entei or something like that, and then we can go ahead and use a Sycamore. We'll be losing two VS Seekers, which is insane. We need these VS Seekers. VS Seekers are so crucial, absolutely crucial for flexibility and uh, just to find certain kind of advantages. But it's okay. Um, certainly, a couple things can happen. You never know 
We can tap like a Shauna. I don't know. Could probably use the Shauna. At some point, I'd like to get rid of the Shaman off the active spot. Maybe use the Sky Return, which is kind of pathetic. Um, <clears throat> can't attack right now anyways, so it's going to take two turns to just power up this, this Shaman. But, yeah. Um, okay. So, our opponent right here is going to be choosing uh, their active Pokemon. Uh, as for us, as far as I'm concerned, all we got to work with really is an Acro Bike and hope for the best. And then we have Sycamore, of course. Um, ideally, I don't want to lose out on this burning energy. That's definitely a no-no. Um, but, you know what? We do end up getting an extra card, so I'll take it. Um, oh, sweet. This could work right here. Let's get rid of the Acro Bike, and let's get this right here. Um, you know, we could go with another Shaman, but I'm actually going to go with the Embor. Yeah, yeah, as surprising as it is. I'm going to go ahead. We're just going to go right here. We'll play that right there. Let's go with the Battle Compressor. And get rid of two energies. And maybe, um, let's see, we could, let's go with, uh, oh, let's go with an AZ. Perfect. Yes. Okay. And now let's go with Blacksmith. And uh, we definitely could have AZ'd up um, the Shaman. We'll, we'll do that next turn. And we're going to end the turn right here. And so hopefully we can get another energy off the top deck. And then we can go ahead and use Strong Flare and knock out this Regirock. We do see the Skarmory here, which is a Fire Weak Pokemon. And then we see an, an energy drop on the Rock Throw, uh, which all he'll need in the next turn is the DCE to be able to use Unyielding Rock, hitting for an additional 60 off the base damage of 60, a total of 120. And notice you did not see a Strong Energy, so we're not going to get that extra 20 damage right there. And all right, looks good. Let's go ahead. We're just gonna go with the AZ, and we will AZ up the Shaman, getting rid of the Shaman in the active spot, and hopefully, we can get an energy off of this. Let's go ahead. We'll play the Shaman down and take a look and see. Do we get energy off of here? No, no, we do not. We do get the uh, Fighting Fury Belt, which I will gladly play right now. Let's go ahead and get rid of the Blacksmith as well as the Sacred Ash and get one more Shaman here and draw into a fresh hand size of six. Well, uh, besides the shame, uh, via Seeker. So five additional cards right here, which is awesome. We must get that energy. Are you kidding me? We did not get the energy. Let's look at this Acro Bike here. We did get the Double Colorless Energy, which... I will play. All right, let's just go with that. Now, our uh, Embor here is just insanely strong. And uh, we'll play the Entei. I'm going to keep the Shaman here. Let's go ahead. We'll just go with the Strong Flare. And, um, you know, I, I will just, let's just get rid of this and that right there. And then we'll get the, uh, we'll get the Burning Energy back. And we should be able to go for another Strong Flare in the next turn. And that will be a knockout on the Skarmory since... This Skarmory is fire weak, and uh, Fighting Fury Belt is hitting for an extra 10, which is okay, I guess. Uh, 220 HP M board here, you gotta deal with that, that's right. And of course, they chose to your connection and move it, but lucky for us, a DC did not get dropped onto the Skarmory, just a single uh, metal energy, and that's it. I was gonna say fire energy, but um, we should be able to knock out the Skarmory in the next turn. I'm surprised that thing did not retreat. Um, so not much else do we need right here. Uh, let's go ahead. We're just going to go and strong flare this up. And boom, hitting for weakness. Getting rid of uh, these two right here. And um, looking good. I mean, really, we, we, we probably could have played the Acro Bike. We probably could have played the Shauna. We could have played a lot of different things, really. Um, but we're just looking so good that we didn't need it. We even got a Professor's Letter for the next turn. We don't even need to use... We could, I could probably power up the Embor on the bench. Why not, you know? Um, okay, oh, a fighting energy. I am not concerned at all. We do get hit with an ace trainer here, though. It doesn't matter. We get down to three cards. He gets six. It's the same thing as an N right now. Um, only question is, can we get an energy, please? Oh, we got a burning energy. No way. That is ridiculous. Wow. Just wow, man. Cannot ask for a better scenario here. I'll play the judge and put my opponent down to four cards. We'll be back to... Uh, four, we'll be back at four as well, but, oh man, a fighting fury belt, let's just play it onto the Entei, and let's go with the trainer's mail, we got an assault vest, which I will play onto the Entei as well, look at this, oh man, this guy's just jacked, our Entei right now is just jacked right now, let's go with the strong flare, highly unfair, did not need to do the strong flare, and we'll just go ahead, we'll get rid of these two, boom, and we'll get them right back, that's right, burning energy, Come right back to the Embor. Let's take another prize right here. We got the Eco Arm. Uh, no, no um, tool cards yet. So 
not in a dire need of uh, using eco arm at all. Uh, the Spinarak can actually poison us if it evolves into the Erados, but no, that's not going to happen. We see a Chestman right there and a Halucha. We see the Metal Energy going to get a hit with a String Shot. Ooh, even better. We can see a... Uh, oh, never mind. <coughs> We're going to see a, a Quilla in here and, uh, and a String Shot. So it can actually paralyze us and buy a turn. And that, my friends, just happened. Ooh, okay. Well... Uh, let's go ahead. We'll play this on to the Embor. Uh, let's go with... Let's see. How many how many energies we got in this card pile? Two. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll hang on to the Battle Compressor. Maybe we don't need it just yet. Um, muscle Band. That works out for me. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and uh, use this. Maybe we can get a switch. I don't know. Uh, but that looks like it's it. Who knows? Maybe. Just maybe. If he goes for a shrink Shot the whole time and keeps slipping heads, we may just deck out. And my opponent could win that way. That would be ridiculous if we just see a succession of string shots. But that's not happening. We're going to see an Eratos here. And then we're going to get hit with a Poisonous Nest and an Impound. And we cannot retreat. Woo. Now that's scary. That is scary. Okay. Um, hmm. All right. Well, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and um, we'll just power up our other Embor over here. Uh, not that we really need to do that. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we'll even do this right here and bring back some more stuff. All right, looking good. Let's just go with the strong player. Hitting it for 320 damage. Um, this is just, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, we're down one prize. I don't see this happening. Maybe if he kept up with the uh, that silly little uh, spin rack and kept paralyzing us for... Uh, 19 more turns. He could have won. He could have won. I don't think we have a switch at all that can help us out besides AZ. Yeah, <laughs> we can just AZ up the Embor, lose out on the uh, energies and stuff, but you know, really just wrap up the game that way. Um, we do see a. Huh, I'm not sure. But you know what? This is it. Let's go with the strong player and um, finish this up with 320 damage. Boom. We do get hurt the poison. Oh, wait a second. The scrunch. Nah, not that it really matters. Um, hmm. <laughs> Great. Um, let's see. Flip a coin of heads, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon. And yeah, he could keep doing that. Let's see if we get it again. Wow, he got it again, folks. He got it again. All right, time for a Lysander. Do we have a Lysander in here? Um, we can now if we got a Battle Compressor. Let's just get rid of this equal arm. Um,. Let's go with this. Battle Compressor. Yes, there you are. All right, let's finish this up. Um, anyways, we entertain my opponent more than enough right here. Uh, wait, wait, wait a second. There is no... Huh. There is no Lysander. Lysander is prized. Okay. If that's the case, we'll just get rid of... Um, uh, let's get rid of Battle Compressor. Uh, yeah. Um... Let's see, done to this Pokemon by tax your opponent. Okay, so we could just retreat. Um, yeah, let's just do Spiral Punch for fun. Oh, it's Tails. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> man, maybe if he just keeps scrunching the whole way and we never get our last Lysander. The last card is a Lysander. If we never get it, then uh, I guess that's so be it. Oh, man, that's tragic. That would be tragic. If he keeps scrunching his way to victory... Um, Wow. Just wow. Alright, he may be able to poison us to death. And that's that's ridiculous. Okay. Um Hmm. Well, there's not much we can do. Uh we still have two hundred and twenty HP left, but I will end the turn here. And uh yeah, yeah, I don't know. Just gotta wait and see. Does he flip tails at some point? If he keeps flipping heads, that's that's gonna be ridiculous. We can't get the last card, which is Lysander. Okay, he got tails. Thank goodness. About time. About time. All right, let's just do this. Let's just finish this right here. I'm not even going to say GG because these cards were so annoying. Let me see that that last prize. I'm pretty sure. Let me see that. Come on. Come on. I just want the last prize. Do we have to go through the soul ritual? There it is. There's our Lysander. Oh, man. Okay. Well, maybe I should play two Lysanders in this. Oh, wow. Uh, 1,440 damage. Embor EX was a tank, just taking down Rattles and all the rest of the gang. He flipped five heads to one Tails. That one last Tails was what 
done him in. I mean, if he kept flipping heads for 12 more turns, we would have lost. Well, actually, we could have used, uh, you know, uh, VS Seeker for uh, Judge. <laughs> and then uh, probably could have bought ourselves a couple more turns. And I don't know. Who knows? But good thing, good thing he did not flip 12 more heads in a row. Okay, we're done here. Um... I'm going to come back. So far, we're waiting for one more person uh, to win between uh, Best Bestie Adivina. Woo. Oh, man. Butchered that name. Uh, Psyduck. Ha. Huh. Funny. Psyduck. Never mind. Uh, we have uh, DJ Tito Orderica. Hmm. Has defeated Swagger Muffins. That's a fun name. All right, Joe Botticus has lost to us a blue golf ball. Daniel Simon, uh, underscore, has defeated Valdo, 9B09. Okay, well, anyways, we're going to be back once uh, we find out who wins here in this matchup. All right, and uh, looks like the tournament is about to begin. We will be playing against Daniel Simon here. Daniel Simon. Daniel Simon is playing a water and electric deck. And uh, we do see the electric coin right here. Daniel Simon underscore is calling the coin toss. Hopefully we can go. This is weird. What is? Question mark. And uh, hmm, maybe the game is frozen for him. Maybe he cannot. Uh, I, if I knew I would battle you, I would have gotten something more serious. <laughs> Uh, you do have the advantage. You have the advantage. <laughs> oh, man. Darn, we got an end board here. Okay. Perhaps we can... Uh, I don't know. Um, if my opponent mulls again and we get two cards like a... Uh, no, nah, not going to happen. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, ooh, he starts off with a Remoraid. Oh, dear. Uh, here is a Pikachu... Um, and then we see a Sycamore discarding a, uh, wow, Raichu, Magneton, Rare Candy. We're going to be playing against a, uh, Raichu Break deck, I believe. We do see another, uh, level ball right here. It's going to go ahead and grab probably, uh, a Magnemite. Okay. Um, nicely done. Um, hmm. Magnemite here. You don't exactly, let's see here. Let's go ahead. We're just going to play this right here. Hopefully now... Seeing that he plays uh, Magnazone, uh, he may not be playing any, uh, you know, strong energies. Or not strong energies, but uh, DCEs and stuff. But also, from what I remember, um, hmm. Alrighty then. Let's see. Well, let's go ahead. We'll just go Ultra Ball these guys away. Um, could definitely have gone with the Hex Maniac, but it looks like he only has got five cards. We'll get rid of this right here. And uh, let's grab the Shaman. Uh, I think Shaman would be pretty solid. Uh, could go with the Assault Vest. I don't know if he plays Special Energies, but oh well. It's cool to versus you after watching you so long. Awesome. All right. Well, good luck. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Let's go. Do I want to go with the Assault Vest? No, I don't. Not yet. At least not not now. Um, let's grab here. Uh, wow, two Trainers Mail. Let's see if we can get something off of this. Uh, let's see, we do get a Sycamore, which I will hang on to, no, I'm going to hang on to the Blacksmith, um, alright, okay, maybe we can get Battle Compressor, Battle Compressor, oh, we got it, <laughs> oh, man, here it is, let's do it, um, let's see, let's just Battle Compress, get rid of two Fire Energies, and, uh, what else, what else, um, could probably get rid of the Shauna. I think that's fine. Um, we should have other opportunities to get rid of more energies later on as well. So we'll do that right there. And uh, let's go ahead and Blacksmith. Grab these two. Power up this Envor right here. And you know what? I don't know if he plays DCE. But, um... And I can't remember what the HP of uh, Raichu Break is anyways. Alright, we'll just do that. Let's go with the Shaman here. Um... I'm gonna have to AZ up Shaman at some point. Um, but yeah, let's just play this Entei right here, perhaps. And then we're gonna keep uh, the other Embor here. Um, okay, let's just go with that Spiral Punch, flip a coin to get Tails. And if we can get one, 
Oh, man. If only we had two heads in a row, uh, we could have knocked out this Rem Raid. Surprisingly, it, it survived. Um, but here is a Sky Field. All right, something to watch out for. Um, again, he's, he could easily just play down a regular energy and then evolve into Raichu. And uh, that could be pretty frightening. Otherwise, right now, we'll just go ahead and counter the Stadium in the next turn. And then uh, play down the Embor. I'd actually rather would like to play the Lysander at this point. And uh, Lysander out, uh, Pikachu. Uh, we see an Abyssal hand here, allowing important to draw one more card. Um, oh, a Shauna. Ooh, I wonder if that came off the Abyssal hand. But um, either way, back to five cards in his hand, uh, courtesy of uh, the Abyssal hand. Who knows? We see a Professor's Letter. Uh, next, what he needs is a Float Stone. And uh, and then uh, Raichu, of course. So there's a DCE drop. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, Pikachu's going to go for a nuzzle here. Flips tails. All right. Well, let's go ahead and finish the job here. We do have the burning energy. Let's just go ahead and play that. Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead. We'll just counter the stadium. Um, prevent that. That's for sure. Let's go and pick up the Shaman right here. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to... Get rid of the Embor and maybe just downsize my hand. And um, you know what? Let's do that. I should have one more Embor and plenty of Entei's to work with. Here's that Embor. Here's the Entei. Um, yeah, let's just grab. Uh, hmm. We'll just grab this other Embor, I guess. No, we'll grab the em we'll grab the Entei. Let's keep these Entei's stockpiled here. Here. All right. Here we go. Entei and sure Shaman again. All right. So the only way he can win right now is to knock out both Shamans and the Embor. Um, which, you know, maybe he can do. Maybe he can't. I don't know. But we missed out on anything else right here. I kind of wish we had Via Seeker. Um, yeah, it'd be nice if we had Via Seeker. <laughs> Darn, we don't have any energies in the discard pile. But we can go ahead and go for the strong flare at this point and uh, get rid of this Pikachu here. Uh, again, we did see a DCE. So we know he does play DCE. So that's good news. Uh, at least we'll reduce his damage down by 40 because of the Assault Vest. Uh, courtesy of the Assault Vest right here. And yeah, so uh, the only thing you can do is play DCE and play Raichu and then uh, try to knock out an Embor. Or certainly could use Lysander, bring out the Shaman, and knock out a Shaman that way. And then uh, we'll be ahead in the prize lead, but then we'll just knock out the Pikachu. Unless, of course, we see... I don't know. Ooh. Oh, man. We could get hit with a Thunderclap. Um, I don't know. Certainly, we can, we can actually get... Uh, we can see Rare Candy and Magnezone. And um, that would be pretty brutal. Here is a VSC here. Goes for a Sycamore. No Lysander in there yet, so we don't have to worry about that. Unless he gets a Lysander. Oh my goodness, a Lysander was in his hand. Full art Lysander for that matter. No, um, did not have a Rare Candy. He did have the Magnazone. Uh, he may be digging for that right now. Perhaps he could find it. We see another Raichu here. We do see that Pikachu here on the bench. Uh, no DCE as of yet, so this Assault Vest is not working out for us. Um, let's see here. We see the Battle Compressor, and uh, yeah, I, I don't see any Starling Megaphones as of yet either. Uh, so maybe we could play these Muscle Bands. I don't know. Uh, we have room for one more Embor, and uh, don't really want to bring out the Embor right now, though, since the Embor is just too heavy of a retreat cost to work with. Um, now, he brings out this Magnemite, so we're going to have to deal with that. Uh, we do get at least a fire energy. That's good stuff. Um, let's go with the acro bike right here. Can we find something else? We do get the blacksmith, which I'll gladly play. And um, so no, no fire energies. But once the fire energies, well, if this M board gets knocked out, we can use the blacksmith. Um, I'll just play this here. I'm gonna play them both muscle bands onto the entes. I'll play one of these here. And uh, there we go. All right, let's just knock this guy out. Let's go ahead and do strong flare. Um, yeah, I think the thunderclap could be very scary. Able to hit, um, you know, 50 damage on both of those shamans. We gotta have to get rid of them. We need to get via seeker. Gotta get the uh, um, more blacksmith. Oh my goodness. Gotta get AZ and remove these shamans off the game board. That would be very convenient. Uh, but here is the another Raichu here. This one's from Generations. And here, ooh, we see the Raichu break. Nothing that our uh, Embor, Embor can't handle since it's only 130 HP. The strong player would be able to take it out. Um, and the Abyssal Hand allowing my opponent to continually draw into more cards is very helpful for him. Certainly very, very good to set him up. So uh, we see the Professor Birch's observation here, flipping four tails, 
and uh, it only draws uh, four cards off that, but, um, ooh, here it is, the Sky Field once again. Um, man, we're just not drawing any, any energies. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I have a lot of energies left. So there's the DCE. We're going to get hit with the Grand Volt, but that is re decreased by, um, by 40. And so, all right. So here's another Embor. Um, let's go ahead. We'll just counter the stadium. Uh, let's see. One way to get out of this is to do this right here. Um, yeah, let's just get rid of these two. So now we can get we can get rid of one of our shamans. All right, at least get rid of one, and um, and they won't be easy picking. So let's do that. We'll get rid of the shaman right here, and then uh, we have potentially we can get an AZ perhaps. But let's go with the strong flare and boom, hitting for 150, knocking out that Raichu break. Um, yeah, again, this Raichu can hit us for a circle circuit, uh, but it does times the number of your bench, so his bench is pretty thin. Plus, we have that Assault Vest, uh, which will reduce the damage. And um, yeah, and so in the next turn, we're just kind of hoping for a top deck of an energy right here. And uh, if we do that, we can play Blacksmith, assuming this Embor gets knocked out. Um, you know, we can we can potentially pull this off. So, uh, the energy got played this turn. Um, so that means he still needs to play a DCE for the next turn. Um, but yeah, I mean, I feel like, oh man, there's a Professor Sycamore. He is down to uh, just five cards. And then we see the Raikou comes into here into play. We see a Trainer's Mail uh, gets the Sky Field again. And um, didn't even get, we didn't even get to use that Scorched Earth at all. It was just there as a stadium counter. Um, but Circle Circuit certainly can be a very powerful attack, but it looks like he's down to four cards, and just, I may not have enough juice, really, uh, to get the job done here, so, um, question is, do we want to, um, hmm, go with the Lysander? I think so, I think that Raichu Break is really the only threat that we have to worry about, so let's go ahead, we'll just take it out right now, let's grab the Lysander here, and just, just, Get rid of this this Raichu and uh, make sure he doesn't become a threat. So here we go. Let's go with the Strong Flare. No mercy here. Pretty brutal. And I must apologize uh, to my opponent. Um, yeah, no mercy. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, give him the sad face. Oh, man. Oh, dang. I don't know. Can you, can you squeeze out of this one? I'm not sure. He's down to two prizes. Uh, man, sorry to see both. Man, sad to see. To see those Raichu breaks go. Oh man, it's a bummer. I feel bad, but you cannot feel bad because this is a game of competition and you must not show any mercy to your opponents. Oh man, anyways, he says it's cool. All right, sounds good to me. That's my kind of player. Uh, we got the Fighting Fury Belt, which we can play onto the Zembor. Hopefully, he doesn't play any Headringers. Um, not that I don't think he does play any Headringers, but. Another Octillery here, allowing him to continually draw more. We do see the Flash Energy right there, as well as a Via Seeker. Can certainly can see a Lysander at this point, or not. Um, oh, Fisherman, all right, even better. Uh, he's got three turns left to get make something happen, but uh, that's, that's a couple turns too late to power up this Raikou. Maybe he can get a moral victory and, um, you know, power him up to knock out our Embor, but... Uh, let's see, we, got, we only got one, we only played one via Seeker so far. Can you believe that? Only one via Seeker. Okay, let's go with Trainer's Mail here. Um, maybe, ooh, Acrobite. We gotta go with the Acrobite. That's right. Uh, Could have gone with Battle Compressor, certainly, but you know what? I'm too tempted to see if we can get um, a DCE, which works pretty well for me. Um, I'm actually gonna play that onto the. Hmm. Um, yeah, let's play it onto this M board here. Let's play that right there. All right, let's just go with the strong flare. You know what? If he does knock us out, um, which I don't think he can. Let me see. Uh, this is like Charizard from Flash Fire, but using him more instead. <laughs> uh, very true. <clears throat> very true. <laughs> uh, yes, Charizard uh, with Combustion Blast. Uh, you can't attack in the next turn, I believe. That's the ruling on Charizard with Combustion Blast. So you need to reset it some somehow. Um, but Embor with Burning Energy, uh, you know, you, you just can, can keep going forever, right? So, yeah, Combustion Blast, you can't use um, Combustion Blast during your next turn. That's the ruling on the effect. Um, so, you know, you got to have to find a way to, like, you know, before the rotation, it was Caldeo to rush in and retreat. 
Um, but yeah. So right there, he just kind of concedes the map. Oh, wow. What is this? Some kind of glitch. We can't even see the stats. Huh. We just saw Giovanni's scheme, and that's it. All right. I think we won, right? Did we win? We, we did win. We lost. Oh, what happened there? Huh. Well, that was so strange. Um... What, what just happened, guys? Why did we lose? <laughs> um, well, anyways, we lost the match, but I thought we won. Um, dang, that was a glitch if I've ever seen one. We did get past the second round, so we got a tournament ticket, but... Um, oh, man. Well, you know what? Let's play another match. Uh... Let's just go ahead and play another match here on Pokemon TCG Online. All right, we're gonna be playing against Bill Cool. It is a Water and Darkness deck, and yeah, you know what, guys? I don't, I don't know what happened that last game. I don't. That was a weird glitch. We lost. I thought I won. Um, but I don't know what happened right there. You know, I was chatting with my opponent, talking about Charizard, and then the next thing you know, uh, we end up losing. I have no idea. I I have absolutely no idea what happened. Um, for, for all I know, we were we should have won. I mean, we had the prize. We 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 had one more prize, and we would have won the game. And uh, and yeah, I don't know, guys. But anyways, you guys are gonna, gonna you guys gonna get another match right here. I don't know what happened, and I'm not gonna try to explain why. <laughs> um, yeah. All right, so off the top deck and these two Acker bikes and also the Shaman EX, maybe we can get a fast start here. Going second, we can get a knockout, play down DCE, get uh, Battle Compressor, and uh, get the Blacksmith. That will be amazing. That will be a sick, sick start. And, um, yeah, still, I'm, I'm just amazed at that, that tournament. I just got booted out, and I didn't even, get an, I didn't even lose an internet connection. That was so weird. Has anyone ever had that? If you have, let me know in the comments below, and uh, we can talk. <laughs> so, I, I, I have no idea. Wow. Okay. So, we see a Malamar EX here and um, a uh, Darkrai EX. Very cool. And then, we'll also see the uh, Manaphy EX to allow for retreat. Uh, looks like no Shamans in this deck. Opting to use um, Remoraid instead. So, okay. Um... Let's see if we can get a fast start here. Let's go with this. Let's go Acrobike. Battle Compressor. Hmm. Actually, this works pretty well. Um, let's see. Blacksmith. Um, huh. You know what? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... Dang. Getting rid of that DC really hurts. Really, really hurts. All right. Okay. Blacksmith. Let's do it. Blacksmith. Here we go. Uh, nope, no blacksmith, but, um, we can discard this, draw two cards. Uh, okay, we can do, we can still get it, we can get blacksmith this way. Alright, we get rid of the blacksmith, we got Via Seeker. Um, hmm, it'd be nice to have, uh, a muscle band instead of the Fighting Fury Belt, for sure. It'd be really nice to have that, uh, that way we can get the one in Naka. Wait a second, where are all our basic energies? They are gone, my friends, they are... So gone. Okay. Well, for sure, we are going to go and uh, let's go with this. Let's go with Blacksmith. All right. And Blacksmith right here. I get back these two energies. Huh. That's really tragic. We don't have any more basic energies. Let's go with the Acro Bike. Maybe we can get a Muscle Band off of this. And no, we do get a Battle Compressor, though. All right. I'm going to go ahead and play that. Um... Okay, so I'm going to thin out my hand. Okay, we're going to play this and this. And then we're going to use Eco Arm. Get a Shaman here. Look at that, huh? Maybe, just maybe, we can get a Muscle Band. Let's go with the Eco Arm. Going to have to burn this, shuffle this back into our deck. Um, Battle Compress. Let's get rid of some more supporters. Uh, probably a Shauna. We can get rid of the Hex Maniac. Oh, could use Hex Maniac for sure. Uh, let's get rid of AZ. And we'll get rid of Lysander as well. All right, here we go. Uh, Shaman for a Muscle Band, drawing into six extra cards right here. Do we get the Muscle Band? No, no we don't, but we do get this Trainer's Mail, and no. No Muscle Band. Huh. 
Okay, well, I'm gonna keep the Via Seeker. Maybe we can use Hex Maniac. Um, let's see here. Oh man, this is brutal. Okay, all right, we are trying to dig for this, man. We are digging for this. Uh, let's not pick up anything. Okay, Shaman, come on, come on, Muscle Band. I know you're in there. I know you are in there. We got it. Oh my goodness. Worked so hard to get this Muscle Band, and we got it. Bam! Oh my goodness. Took way, way too long to get this muscle band. Oh man, okay. Well, we pull it off and uh, we should be a threat right now, uh, for sure. The Darkrai, it'll be a two hit knockout, that's for sure. Um, at least we don't have to deal with the Malamar anymore to put us to sleep. So that's good news. Um, the Dark Pulse, or Dark Head can only hit us for 90 damage, uh, which is still a two hit knockout. Um, but we can apply enough pressure on our opponent right now. And, uh, all right, so we see a Lysander brings out the Shaman. Again, we do have AZ. So, um, at least that's good news for us. All right, so Dark Head hits Shaman. No problem. All right, sadly, um, no basic energies. So let's go ahead. We, we got to do what we got to do. So to apply pressure, love the channel. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Bill Cool. Ah, oh, smiley face for you too. All right, so we got the AZ here. Let's just pick up. All right. Um, sadly, we won't be able to, um, to use Spiral Punch as of right now, but that's okay. Let's go ahead. We will Spiral Punch right here. Heads, tails. Okay. Hey, you know what? Put this guy into a uh, two-hit knockout range. Why not? Right now he's at 160. All we need to do is Strong Flare again. And uh, we should be able to get the job done. Again, he can still be a seeker and break another mine. Goes for a birch instead and flips tails. Okay, so what he really needs is um, he can actually knock us out if he has. Oh man, he may have it. Uh, he may have the Malamar right now. Oh no, goes for an auxiliary. Yeah, that's probably the best move. Um, if he's able to get the Malamar and play down the energy drop, uh, it'd be a knockout on the Embor. And we won't really have much to answer. There is the Malamar. There is the energy drop. Oh, man. That is brutal. Okay. Whew. That is harsh. Gotta have to deal with this for sure. Um, okay. Certainly, there's still a number of things we can try to do to pull us off. Um, could probably just kind of sacrifice our Entei here. And we are... Okay. Oh, man. We stay asleep. No kidding. Um... Hmm. Had we woken up, this could have been a totally different story. Um, but no, we, we do stay asleep. Okay. Um, yeah, this is kind of a, a huge risk right here. Uh, one via seeker, I believe two via seekers are already gone. Might have to just count our losses here. And, um, hmm. And just kind of have to roll with the loss of losing... DCE, burning energy, and three fire energies. Yeah, it's quite it's quite a loss right here. Quite a bit of a loss. Um, but it is what it is. Okay. Um. Yeah, I feel like knocking out the Embor is gonna be way too tantalizing for my opponent. Um. Okay, we'll just go via seeker. Let's go ahead. We'll just grab um. You know, we could probably Lysander out. Nah, he can always play a Water Energy and we'll have Free Retreat. So, it's gonna just Blacksmith right now and uh, power up the uh, the Entei here. Uh, Entei is hitting for 150. It's gonna be a little bit short, um, but you never know. Okay, we'll get rid of the Judge and probably the Hex Maniac. Um, keep the Lys uh, keep the. Uh, I'm just going to hit done. All right. All right. Let's play the Shaman one more time. Man, we are drawing through our deck. Maybe I shouldn't have kept the Sycamore. <laughs> um, hmm. All right. We got the Blacksmith for the next turn. All right. We'll end the turn here. I really need another tool card, though. That's that's really what we need. Um, and maybe you can get a DC. I don't know. I have to go pretty desperate right here uh, to get the job done, to knock out this, this Darkrai. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, our Embor is going to go down, that's for sure. Of course, you can always Lysander out and take out the, M the Entei, but that's not the smartest thing to do since 
Our Emboar can just knock out the Starkrai as well. Unless the Starkrai does heal somehow. Nope, just hits us with the Dark Head. And we're going to go ahead and proceed to play our Entei here with the Muscle Band. If we can get a DCE, all we need is a, um, a uh, uh, Fighting Fury Belt. Um, hmm. Which we are not going to get. And that's going to be a little bit disappointing. Um... Okay, you know what? We're going to have to rely on these Entei's here. Yeah. Um, okay. All right, let's just shuffle. Shuffle this lonely Emboar back. Okay, oh man. Oh, this is such a tough call. Um, okay, DCE. Okay, DCE. We should have one more DCE left. This is Desperation here. And we got it. We got the Fighting Fury Belt. We got the DCE. And here we go. We'll take the win. Well, not the win, but we'll take the knockout here. Bam. Okay. Oh, we end up hurting ourselves. Come on. Okay. Well, that's all right. Woo, look at all these fire energies. My goodness. We only got four turns left to try to turn this thing around. Um, but, oh, no. Puts us to sleep here. And, yeah. Too bad we didn't play. We don't have a Hex Maniac. Hopefully, we can wake up, though. Uh, again, the Malmar can hit us from 120, potentially. Um, and that that won't knock us out. We'd actually survive. And if we can wake up, apply enough pressure, put down, put up another 100-some damage, and then hopefully flip heads and not hurt ourselves and survive. The turn. That's really the, the kind of what we're kind of squeezing out here. Um, oh, my goodness. Okay. Can we wake up? Please wake up. Can you wake up, please? Entei, wake up. Oh, we woke up. Nice. Oh, this is good. This is really good. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to just play the Fire Energy right now. Um, got three turns left. we got a VS Seeker as well. The Entei's are going to have to carry us home, guys. Entei, carry us home. Um, hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. I'm just going to hang out of my hand for now. Let's just go with the Heat Tackle. And it is going to be short. That's all right. Short by 10. Um, but... Uh, my opponent's going to be really tempted to try and knock us out. Um, and we are pretty darn close to finishing the job right now. Pretty darn close. Here's a gold duck. Uh, all he needs now is that gold duck break. But I'm pretty sure he's super tempted to just knock out our Entei and uh, you know take another prize. Otherwise, um, we should be able to pull this off. Entei's going to go down. I hope he knocks us out. Uh, I really do. If not, then... We may just end you know, he's risking it off with a coin flip. If we flip tails, we may end up decking out. Uh, that That's really the tragedy of this. Um, but you know what? He retreats. We do have a Lysander in the discard pile. If we wake up, we'll take the win. Uh, we'll just take the two prizes here. We actually could probably knock out the Manaphy too. Um, but we'll knock out the Malmar since the Malmar is only 50 HP left. And um, yeah, all right. So here it is. Uh, do we wake up? That's the question. And uh, really, he's waiting to get uh, the Gold Duck Break. Uh, if he gets that, then he can move energies around the board. And uh, that's going to be just so powerful for my opponent. Um, otherwise, right now, I mean, um, goodness, we are in a pickle. Okay, <clears throat> we do wake up. All right, it is GG. I'm just going to let my opponent know. Uh, GG right here. Okay, let's just go Lysander. Um, and uh, my opponent says GG in return. We'll just go ahead. We will lie center out this guy and uh, finish the job. Even play down this right here. Right now. Okay, heat tackle. Boom, in for the knockout. We may end up hurting ourselves, but uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, we will survive our own heat tackle. And we get the last surprise being an assault vest and another burning energy. Wow, I think we had four energies advised. I think it's either three or four. I know for sure two basic energies were in there, and then also that burning energy. And uh, we got a tournament ticket for all that matters. So, again, um, I don't know what happened that one game uh, uh, in the semifinals. I think some, I have to, even I need to rewatch this and uh, look, look to see what happened because uh, I have no idea uh, what happened in that game. But this is your guys' finals. We were able to pull off the win. So, yeah, we were down to two cards. We could have decked out. Um, but, uh, yeah, pulled off some pretty risky maneuvers, being able to knock out that Malamar right away, knocking out the, uh, the Darkrai, 
Um, and yeah, yeah, Mbor EX, guys. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. If you guys are returning subscribers, thanks so much for being a part of this channel and being a part of this epic journey. You guys take care. Thanks again for, uh, for watching. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Goodbye. Okay, we got another Generations pack. Come on, let's get this pack opening at the end of the video. Generations pack. We got Malmar, we got a Diglett. We got two rares in this one. This Jirachi art is awesome. Okay, and let's go with this one. It's a Raichu and a Dodrio. Oh, hmm.